What's going on guys? So I decided to do something a little different today and do a full day of eating video where I'm at work, busy, and this is like my typical food that I eat. Uh, not much effort put into this, it takes like 20 minutes to prepare the night before. So breakfast is overnight oats, and this is my typical breakfast. So this is a little different. This is cinnamon bun flavored protein powder with cheesecake, fat-free, sugar-free jello mix, one cup of oats, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and one serving of Reese's chocolate chips. That's been like my go-to lately. One whole wheat bagel with Thomas. And for some reason, sometimes these taste like donuts to me, which blows my mind. And then one banana. So I like to keep breakfast pretty dense in calories and carbs because it's when I'm the hungriest. So I've been up for like three hours now. We have PT at 6 a.m. I'm up at like 4.45 and then PT is over at 7.30, eat and then go back to work. Right now on work, uh, I'm in a heavy unit, so I'm not light. And we have Bradley fighting vehicles, which um, are tracked vehicles. And we're doing this thing right now. It's like a, a video game. You go into the simulator and your crews are in all their vehicles. Uh, and you get up their screens around you. It's simulated. You get a mission. You have to conduct this mission on like a video game platform. It's pretty legit. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, it's Thursday, so I get off early around 3. It's how this post works. And then I'll show you what I'm having the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. Just so you can see what I eat on a typical basis when I'm at work and pretty busy. So my lunch for literally probably the last four months has been 12 ounces of potatoes. I usually use either red potatoes or russet potatoes. These are russet potatoes with barbecue sauce, honey mustard, and eight ounces of chicken breast. Another really good thing to do is use chicken thighs, sweet potato, almond butter, and cinnamon. You literally just mix all of that up, put it in a Tupperware container, and you can eat it cold. Really, really good. And then on the side, a peanut butter sandwich. I've been doing peanut butter and fluff lately, but when it gets in my truck and it's like hot and stuff, I come out and the fluff is all over the, the baggie that I put it in. So it just makes a mess. So keeping it simple, peanut butter sandwich. Uh, but today I was getting coffee this morning at like 5 a.m. on my way to PT. And I thought of the concept of paying it forward is like the coolest idea ever because I was in line. There were two people in front of me. The first guy was getting coffee and something else and he couldn't find his wallet. So he went like looking all over the convenience store looking for it. The second guy in line moved up. He was like, hey, I'll just pay for mine and the guy's in front of me. Left, didn't say anything. And the guy looking for his wallet came back and the lady was like, hey, he paid for your stuff. That's just like awesome. So paying it forward. If you can pay it forward at all, I highly recommend it because I think it's just awesome. But after work, uh, I'm going to take care of some stuff because I'm moving into a new house. I bought a house, believe it or not, and uh, moving out of my apartment, expanding the channel, expanding the business. So I'm very excited for that. Taking you guys along with the journey. So this is meal two. Potatoes, chicken, meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes kind of lunch with a peanut butter sandwich. So I'm leaving work and uh, I was on Instagram last night and I saw that Quest was like advertising and promoting that it is Eating Disorder Awareness Week and I had no idea. I didn't even know that existed. So I went on the site and I checked it out and I guess this year's theme is titled I Had No Idea and it's like that describes it perfect and it talked about how you know people don't plan on having eating disorder. They don't want to have an eating disorder. It's just it slowly progressively gets worse and worse so you might start restricting foods. You start might exercising more. Uh, adding more and more or taking less and less away and over time it gets worse so building an awareness for eating disorders is really important I think and super proud that Quest is taking that initiative and doing that but uh, today I'm taking off from the gym just because I have a lot going on tonight a lot to get done and I really do need it because tomorrow I might take tomorrow off too uh, so either tomorrow or Saturday I'm doing my leg and deadlift workout so squats and deadlifts Going for heavy deadlifts, maybe 600, 605 possibly. Probably stay with 600, um, but I definitely need today off. And then tomorrow after work, I'm going for wings and uh, some drinks with friends and playing trivia at this bar in uh, the local area. And the thing, like I used to overcomplicate things like crazy, like I've talked about before. And in college, you know, you there's videos of every YouTube channel almost has that do alcohol and bodybuilding or powerlifting mix. And the thing is, 
moderation like anything else. You can have it if you're 21. If you are 21, you can have a drink responsibly, a drink or two, go out with friends, have a good time. Nothing wrong with that. It's not going to kill your bodybuilding goals, powerlifting goals. I don't even track alcohol because I don't drink much anymore. Uh, I went through college. I had fun. I'm not going to lie. But now that I'm kind of out of that stage, I'm in the real world, I just don't feel the need to go out every weekend. Occasionally, I go grab some beers with friends, but that's about it. I don't go crazy, uh, and I'm just out of that stage. You know, I grew up. But being social, getting a few drinks, getting some wings with, with friends and stuff and hanging out, no problem with that. Have fun. You live once. YOLO. I won't say that ever again. So I saw someone post online the other day that Pepperidge Farms Swirl Bread came out with a new one, and this is a chocolatey chip. And if you're not aware, this is what I use for all of my baked French toast recipes. So I'm going to do a chocolate baked French toast recipe with a twist. And I was thinking last night, what can I do differently? And I'm going to make chocolate chip baked French toast pancakes. So I'm really just going to mix it up like I usually do with baked French toast, except form it like the patties, make pancakes out of it. So here's what you're going to need for this one. Six slices of this. Pepperidge Farm Swirl Chocolatey Chip. It is called Chocolatey Chip. Half a cup of vanilla non-fat Greek yogurt. Five grams or one serving of unsweetened cocoa powder. One egg, and then I'm gonna top it with Jif chocolate peanut butter whips. So, it's gonna be pretty pretty good. And then I'm gonna throw some sweetener in there. Uh, I have Stevia right now just to sweeten it up a little bit, and we'll see how it tastes. So, let's try this out. So I tried the batter, or whatever you would call it, the chocolatiest, chocolatey chip, chocolate stuff ever. On point. So on point. So in addition to those French toast pancakes, one cup of egg whites, one egg covered in ketchup. The only way to eat your eggs covered in ketchup. So that's meal number three. Leroy's crying, so I'm gonna take him for a walk, and then I'll wrap it up with a pizza tonight. So the last meal of the night is this pizza, and I used this Bolt House Caesar Parmesan for like the sauce uh, instead of pizza sauce. Never tried this before, and actually turned out really good. And then I'm using these Char Pizza Crust, which I've been using all week. This is like the third time I bought it in the last seven days. So the whole crust is about seven grams of fat, 90 grams of carbs, three grams of protein. They are gluten-free in case you have gluten allergy. Um, and then on the pizza, I have two Belinsky chicken sausages, which I love. They have really good macros. And then two servings of fat-free cheese. And I topped it with an egg just because I had a little bit of fat left over. And you can't hurt. And on the side here, a banana for my second fruit of the day. That wraps up all my food. It's weird not going to the gym and realizing how much free time you have at the end of the day, at night after work. Really get a lot accomplished. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.